Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an eye-catching bar chart in Excel with a cool reference line that puts your data into context. We'll compare the average temperature of the top 20 world's major economic countries, also known as the G20, for the year 2022. And we will add a world average line that cuts across the chart. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. I've already opened the Excel file with the name Reference Line, and you can also download it and follow along with me. So imagine you've got your data set ready in Excel, spanning cells A3 to B26. This data comes from Trading Economics, and it lists each country along with its average temperature. The average world temperature is 15.2 degrees Celsius, as you can see from this small table. First, highlight the entire range and navigate over to the Insert tab. In the Charts group, click Insert Column or Bar Chart, and then click on the option for a clustered bar chart. Instantly, you'll see a basic bar chart appear with all of your data. Alright, we have encountered a minor issue. The bars representing Canada and Russia are obscuring the labels. To address this, we need to adjust the position of the labels. So right-click on the Y axis and choose Format Axis. From Axis Options and Labels, change the label position to Low. Great! Now let's bring in the World Average line to give your chart some extra meaning. I will copy the value from cell D5 with Control C. Then click on your chart and paste it with Control V. You'll notice that a second series shows up on your chart, and that's our starting point for the reference line. Next, we need to change the chart type for the series, right click on it. It might show up as Series 2, and select Change Series Chart Type. In the dialog box that pops up, switch the chart type for this Series 2 to a scatter plot. And once you hit OK, the world average data will appear as a distinct marker on your chart. Now let's clean up and fine tune this new series. Right click anywhere on your chart and choose Select Data. Find the series you just added. Here it is, Series 2. Click Edit. Make sure the series name links to the cell that says World Average, cell D3. Alright, now update the X and Y values so that they point to the cells where you typed 5.8 and 0. Click OK to update your chart. OK again. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. It's now time to add error bars that will act as our reference line. Click on the World Average Series, then click the Chart Elements button, that's the little plus icon on the top right, and check Error Bars. By default, Excel adds both X and Y error bars. We only need the Y error bars. While the chart is selected, select the series World Average X Error Bars series from the drop down list in the Current Selection group under Format tab. Press the Delete key to delete the series World Average X Error Bars series. Now let's format the Y Error Bars to make them look just right. Select the Series World Average Y Error Bar Series from the drop-down list in the Current Selection group under the Format tab. Open the Format pane for Error Bars by pressing the button Format Selection. Alright, now set up the direction to Plus. This means the Error Bars will extend upwards and choose No Cap for the End Style. Set the Error Amount to a fixed value of 1. Then go to the Fill in Line settings, choose a solid line style, set the color to black, the width to around 1.25 points, and select a dash type to make the line pop. To ensure that the error bar extends all the way to the top of your chart, right click the secondary vertical axis and choose Format Axis. Change the maximum bound to 1 so the error bar spans the full height. 
let's give the world average marker a little personality. Right click on it and select Format Data Series. Click on the Fill in Line icon. Under Marker Options, choose a built-in marker style, like an up arrow, and set it to about 10. Fill it up with a solid black color and add a black border for a crisp, professional look. Next, add data labels to make your chart even clearer. Right-click on the World Average Marker and choose Add Data Labels. Then, format these labels so they appear just below the marker, showing the X value, which is our world average, and hiding any extra details like the Y value or the leader lines. So in the Format Data Labels pane, under the Label option selected, set the label position to Below. Then under Label Contains, check the X value option and uncheck the Y value and show leader lines options. You can also add the data labels to the bars that display each country's average temperature. In the chart, right-click the series Temperature Data Series and then on the shortcut menu, click Add Data Labels. For a final polish, let's clean up the chart's background. First, remove any extra grid lines. Then, delete the secondary vertical axis and the primary horizontal axis. Also, turn off the border around the chart area to give it a sleek look by setting the border to no line. Right-click the vertical category axis, select format axis, and then check the option to reverse the order of the categories. This makes sure your top ranked country sits at the top of the chart. Adjust the label intervals to keep everything neat and remove the axis line if you want an even cleaner design. To finish up, you can move the average temperature label. Make it bold. Also, resize the chart as needed. Change the fill color of the bars to a light blue. and set the gap width to 30% for a modern look. Don't forget to add a title to your chart and note the data source so viewers know where the numbers come from. And there you have it, a beautifully designed bar chart with a clear reference line in Excel that lets you compare data in a really visual and professional way. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.